Kennywood opening day is finally here. From the all new Potato Smash bumper cars to Cheaters Pub and more, can't wait to get in to Kennywood for the 2024 season. How's it going everyone? It's David here and let's see everything that Kennywood has to offer for the 2024 season. Let's go in and try to have some fun. I have never quite seen the line to get into the park like this here on opening day. Here's the park map for the 2024 season. And most notably, Jeters is now a prominent character. Not only does he have a new bar, but he will now be a new walk around character this year. Hi, Kenny. Happy birthday, by the way. Celebrating 50 years this year. All right. It looks like they finally have the Speedy Pass wait time signs working here for the rides. It currently says Skyrocket's a 15 minute wait. It looks a little longer than that. I might have to test this out later to see how accurate the wait times are. All throughout the park, they have updated the National Historic Landmark signs, including this one for the windmill. And I gotta say, they look spectacular. The new ride for 2024 is Potato Smash, themed after Potato Patch Fries. However, it is not running at its fullest potential as the themed vehicles are not ready yet. Instead, they have some loaner cars that are currently running. But from what I could tell, the facade and the lights and uh, the backdrop does look nice. It fits in pretty well. A little tacky, but not too bad in my opinion. Can't give my full thoughts and review on this ride until it's completely finished. Yet another year that we have no word on what will be happening to the 4D Theater. It is still currently closed. Just ate at the new Carousel Burger Company here in the old Carousel Pavilion across from the merry-go-round. This was formerly Johnny Rockets and I will say the burger and fries that I had, I thought were a bit better than Johnny Rockets. The interior is not much different from Johnny Rockets, although they did add a couple carousel horses which look nice. Checking out the all new Jeter's Pub, uh, which is located just near the Thunderbolt. And uh, it looks really nice inside. I love all the nostalgia and throwback signs and pictures of Kennywood past as well as present. Uh, this is based off of a old original mascot that Kennywood used to have. But Kennywood did promise that he would actually be around here at the park, which I'm great to see that they're preserving and bringing back some history. What's really cool about this is that it's a nice quiet lounge to come in and relax. They have local draft beer from Penn Brewery, even with a couple of new brews just for Kennywood. They have uh, adult slushies and ice drinks. It's nice. I definitely approve of this place. I see Tom was here at the Lake Catchet. <laughs> how are you doing, sir? Good. How are you? <laughs> As we know, just the other day, there was actually a fire on the tower portion of the Millie's building. And as you can see, it has since been removed. Luckily, there was no other reported damage. And as you can see, Millie's is open and operational. On top of the new National Historic Landmark sign, I'm really liking this new 
golden ticket legend sign that they have. After all, this has won many times for best walkthrough attraction. In case you're wondering what the old National Historic Landmark signs look like, they have not changed the one here yet on the Lucky Stand. I decided to make my first ride of the season here at Kennywood on the Turtle. This 1927 Tumblebug by Traver Engineering is the last of its kind and this past off season went through a major refurbishment and I gotta say the turtle it ran just as fast as ever but it's also very smooth very shiny has nice upholstery fantastic they did a wonderful job on this Just had my first coaster ride of the year on the Thunderbolt, an ace coaster landmark and part of a National Historic Landmark. And Thunderbolt is running great as always. One noticeable addition is the Thunderbolt sign. The white trim on the letters has returned and it looks so sharp. Also, there is a surprise on the ride. When you are going around the first turnaround before you go up the lift hill, there is a sign that celebrates the 100th year of the Pippin which if you don't know that section of the ride that goes down into the ravine in those far turnarounds were from the original pippin what we know of the thunderbolt today was in addition to it uh, so very nice touch and it's always great to get on the thunderbolt as well they recently redid the lost kennywood gift shop they rerouted the layout a little bit and the Build-A-Bear location is now another candy shop. Swingshot is definitely closed here on opening day. It's not even fully assembled yet. Over at the games booth in Los Kennywood, it was previously unoccupied last season. But they have Top Bowl open and they moved the small arcade over here. This used to be where Jeter's Pub is now. They added some lights and some fake brickwork. Looks half decent. Sterminator is currently at a 60 minute wait and I'm definitely not going to be waiting in that. But they did bring back the pre-show video as you can see way off in the corner. I'll definitely have to come back sometime later, see if I can see it better.
Thomas might not be on the tracks today, but it's always good to see the Gimbal Flyer running on the train. Welcome back, riders. Please remain seated for the train stop. Stay full stop. Oh, oh Warren. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, babe. The water is so clear. <laughs> There's a new black car on this. Over here in Kitty Land, the Elephant Parade ride has been removed and is replaced with a seating area. This is the location of the former SS Kenny, which has also been removed this year. This summer, definitely give attention to both Kenny's Carousel and the Wacky Wheel, for they are both celebrating 100 years this year. Inside one of the picnic pavilions, there are a couple ride pieces for rides that are closed currently. This is a Pittsburgh plunge boat. Steel curtain cars are in the back. And the arrows for Aero 360 are laying on the ground. Aero 360 is also closed, but Kennywood did promise it is going to reopen this year. And while the iconic arrows on the sweeps are not installed, the seats definitely look nice and clean. And I'm hoping this opens up soon. And look at that, Kennywood is promising that it will be running next weekend. Another opening day means another year that Steel Curtain is not open. And as we all know, the Steel Curtain will be closed for all of 2024 for a major modification project to hopefully give longevity to this ride that has definitely been troublesome. I know a lot of people are frustrated that they have never been on this ride or have hardly been on this ride. I sure hope whatever they're doing can get this ride up and running more consistently. But even at this point, I'm still not sure about the fate of this record-breaking roller coaster. Just rode the racer, had a good time on it as always, on one of now only two Mobius Racing Wind Roller Coasters. In case you still want to build a bear at the Bear Factory, it has moved to the convenience store over, over by Jackrabbit and Racer. Just had a great ride on the Jackrabbit, a front row ride in fact, and they really greased those rails and those wheels. That thing was running really smooth and really well. Always love a ride on the Jackrabbit. Hey, just ran into some fans here from the channel. Say hi, everyone. What's your names? Jack, Pippa, Sadie. Nice to meet you all. Like Hope you're happy. Subscribe. <laughs> all right. Have a great day, guys. Thanks. You too. Looks like they expanded the arcade, at least from last year. It's still not as full as it used to be, but definitely a lot bigger than it was prior.
for a limited time in the Enzen Cafe, there is a birthday buffet celebrating Kenny Kangaroo's 50th year at the park. come to Kennywood without a ride on the Phantom's Revenge. Decided to make that my final ride of the day. Only winning run train so far this season, but the second train should be hopefully back up soon. And I'll tell you what, I think here as a local, we do take Phantom's Revenge for granted. Just getting off that, that is a spectacular hypercoaster. Standing ejector air time, really fast speeds, really intense, especially at the bottom of that second drop. It really is a fantastic ride, and I know it's in the running as one of the best roller coasters in America under USA Today, and I think it absolutely deserves it. It absolutely um, deserves all of the love and recognition that it gets. We really don't know what we have, and not just the Phantom, but also all the other roller coasters here. Um, I did all three Woodies today. They were also fantastic as well. Thunderbolt Racer Jackrabbit, I mean, you can't go wrong. And that's going to do it from Kennywood Opening Day 2024. Overall, really enjoyable day, and I will say for the most part, the park looked really good, and most things were in uh, operational order. Some rides were closed, but we were half expecting them to be closed. Some of the employees were definitely like in a training mode, but I'm sure in the coming weeks it's going to get better. Uh, definitely the biggest highlights for me were getting on some of my favorite rides, especially the roller coasters like Thunderbolt, Racer, Jackrabbit, and Phantom's Revenge. Um, the turtle was definitely the biggest surprise for sure. Uh, that looked and ran fantastic, like, almost like a brand new ride. Uh, Potato Smash looked decent, even though it's not 100% complete. And uh, honestly, meeting a lot of fans around the park today, it was really humbling and I really appreciate it. This channel wouldn't keep going if it wasn't for you guys. And uh, it was great. Uh, definitely be back at Kennywood soon. Always have a good time here. So if you enjoyed this video, Make sure you like it and subscribe for more Kennywood and amusement park content. And with that being said, thank you all for riding, and I'll see you next time.